Well, good evening once again. Day 1461 of the Trump administration. This was the final full day of the Trump administration. 13 hours from now, Joe Biden will be the nation's 46th president. In the intervening hours, however, Joe Biden and the rest of this country must first get through a highly unusual inauguration. Due to an uncontrolled pandemic, the American people have been told to stay away. Due to the attack on the U.S. Capitol, 25,000 troops will surround the proceedings because of the threat from our fellow Americans. Tonight, Donald Trump is expected to issue his final set of pardons, likely within the hour. We'll bring you the information as soon as we have it indeed. This afternoon, Donald Trump, who has not been seen in public for seven days, released a videotaped farewell message instead. He again condemned the attack on the Capitol without taking any personal responsibility while attempting to frame his administration as a success. And he started by offering well wishes to Biden, though not by name. We inaugurate a new administration and pray for its success in keeping America safe and prosperous. We extend our best wishes And we also want them to have luck, a very important word. All Americans were horrified by the assault on our Capitol. Political violence is an attack on everything we cherish as Americans. It can never be tolerated. Our agenda was not about right or left. It wasn't about Republican or Democrat, but about the good of a nation. I am especially proud to be the first president in decades who has started no new wars. Now, as I prepare to hand power over to a new administration at noon on Wednesday, I want you to know that the movement we started is only just beginning. Trump also thanked his loyal Vice President Mike Pence, who he'd made a target for the mob that invaded the Capitol building almost two weeks ago now. Pence not expected to be at Trump's send-off tomorrow morning, but he will attend Biden's inauguration. Earlier today, Biden arrived in Washington, which has been turned into something of a fortress in the wake of that siege at the Capitol. Biden made the trip from his home state of Delaware, where the emotion of the departure and the send off got the best of him. To my fellow Delawareans, on behalf of the entire Biden family that's here today, I want to express how much you mean to me and to every one of us. I am proud, 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 proud to be a son of Delaware. And I am even more proud to be standing here doing this from the major Bo Biden facility. Ladies and gentlemen, I only have one regret. He's not here because he sh- we should be introducing him as president. This evening, Biden and Vice President-elect Harris held a ceremony at the Lincoln Memorial to remember the now over 400,000 Americans lost in this pandemic. It was the first ever national gesture to honor and remember the dead. An uncontrolled pandemic, of course, just one challenge for the new president, the new administration. Today, five of Biden's cabinet nominees were grilled during Senate confirmation hearings. Senator Josh Hawley of insurrection fame has declared he will object to quick consideration of the Homeland Security Secretary nominee, Alejandro Mayorkas. Hawley says he's concerned about Joe Biden's immigration policy. Meanwhile, as the thousands of National Guard troops are on duty to protect the buildings where those hearings are going on, as well as the inauguration, 12 service members have been removed from duty after an FBI screening. As we mentioned, this inauguration will take place exactly two weeks after the looting of our Capitol, which was fueled by the big lie that Trump somehow won the election. Today, Mitch McConnell, loyal Trump water carrier who himself perpetuated the big lie for five weeks after the election, finally laid the blame for the insurrection that took over his beloved chamber. The mob was fed lies. They were provoked by the president and other powerful people. And they tried to use fear and violence to stop a specific proceeding of the first branch of the federal government. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. You should know that you can follow today's top stories and breaking news and catch up on your favorite MSNBC shows all in one place.
Download the NBC News app today.